Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be showcasing the long-awaited Sovereign Industries fictional town military site. Before we get into the video make sure to like and subscribe, and also join the discord from the link down below for giveaways. Anyways, let's get into the video. So for the exterior, we did a nice snowy mountain terrain finish, with broken down trees. At some angles, you can even see some windows carved into the terrain. Here is what it looks like at night time. It is kind of hard to see, but it does look nice because you can see the interior lighting a bit more. When you first walk into the entrance, you can see a huge blast door, a Sovereign Industries ad, and a reception window. These ads can be found in various locations around the site. Here is the reception window, the blast door is controlled from inside here, here is where you will state your reason for entry. First, the dual hydraulics will open first. Then, the 6,000 pound blast door will slide open, and the LED light on the top will turn green. When you first walk in, you will be greeted with warm lighting in the waiting room entrance. On the side, it will state the site name, and there will be an ad below it. This door is the staff entrance to the main site, I will be showing you this later, so stay tuned. Over here is the double door entrance to the waiting room, these doors can only be opened from the reception desk, which staff members only have access to. As you can see here, reception window, with a bunch of seating for the waiting room. Here is the door to the main site, but before we go in, I want to show you the staff entrance. So this door can only be opened by a key card from inside of the door. Here we have the main staff room leading to the entrance for the main site. And then we have a little room built inside of the terrain from the mountain. And then here is the main staff hall to the main entrance, with all of the main leaders for Sovereign Industries. And then we have a military police checkpoint. This is so that the military police's uniform can be checked to make sure that they are fully ready for duty. Over here, we have a staff lounge area. This is for when the site is closed for the day, and here is where the staff can hang around. Here is another ad. These will also be placed in various other locations around the site, with different variations for each painting. And then here is the main site, as we call, the commons. Each section of the commons is divided by huge blast doors that come down during any lockdown. I will be showing these at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Here is the lounge room, this is for anybody. We may be changing this to a panic room slash shelter in the future. In this area, is the staff help desk. This is where civilians can ask staff members questions about the site. Or where they can report suspicious activity. Over here is going to be a mini lounge and or cafe, with many coffee machines and seating. Back over here, this is the door for the entrance for civilians. Anyways, that was Zone 1. AKA the Commons, let's move on to Zone 2. Here we have the first room in zone 2, this room has no meaning, just a connecting room for the entrance sector 2. 
As you can see here, it says what the meaning is for Zone 2. Cafe and Bay Overview. On the other wall, it has framed pictures of the main three runners for Sovereign Industries. Here is the stairs for Zone 3, but first let me show you the main area for Zone 2. Here is the bay overview, this is because there are multiple set windows that can overlook the entire commons. Over here is a catwalk, I will be showing you what this is for in a moment. Here is where you can order your food. And then here is my personal office, where you can overlook the outside. Anyways, this door right here is usually locked for staff only, but today I had it unlocked for the purpose of this video. This catwalk leads to the control room, which is heavily guarded by security. Unfortunately I cannot show you guys what is in here, but make sure to join the discord and fill out an application to become a worker here if you want to see what's in here. And then here is a useless maintenance room, this may be something useful in the future. Anyways, let's move on to Zone 3, aka the Preserved Zone. This is my favorite zone. So when you first walk in, you will be in a waiting room. And if you look above you, you can actually see the bottom of an elevator, which I will be showing you guys at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. Anyways over here, this is the door leading to the containment block. This door will also be guarded 24-7, and can only be opened from the inside. Here is the containment zone, I know that this isn't a SCP site, but I still thought it would be a nice touch to add a containment zone. Each room just has a simple bed and chair. These doors will also be locked most of the time and will also be guarded. At the end of the hall, we have a blast door. This door opens up to a radiation zone. This is where subjects will be tested. It can also only be opened from the outside. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the function of this room, as it is secured and only secretive to test subjects and official employees of this site. That is another reason to join the Discord, and fill out an application to work here. And of course, the only way to work this room, is from inside this tiny segment here. Which is only openable via the inside of the room with a keycard. Over here is the stairs for Zone 4, aka the Habitable Zone. Once you walk up, you are greeted with a catwalk leading to three living quarters and an elevator leading up to Zone 5, aka the Armory Zone. Each room also just has a simple bed and a chair. This elevator leads to Zone 5, the Armory Zone. Unfortunately, these doors can only be opened from inside the Armory Room, which is exclusive to security workers only. Once again, another good reason to join my Discord to fill out an application. Anyways, that was the official tour, let's go back downstairs. Anyways, like I promised, let me show you guys the blast doors closing.
Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also make sure to join the Discord link in description. Peace.